It's a great day to be alive, guys. It's another glorious Monday. That means we get to meet another Minnesota homemaker. That's right. So reporter Kelly Hansen is here to tell us about Knit and Nail. Hi, Kel. That's Hello, a happy fun Monday. Name. I know. There's a fun story behind the name. I'll share that as well. Wow. Can we see like you? We're just going to nail you <laughs> right to that board. Here are our Vanna White. Okay, so Knit and Nailed was all started by Anders and Emma Lindbergh. So it's a small business out of Anoka. Um, it's beautiful layered wood art. And they've got lots of dis, uh, things displayed here. There's their family. Cute. They make beautiful magnets and ornaments and wall hangings. Now the shop started in 2013 when their kids were small. Emma was knitting hats for the kids, started an Etsy shop mostly for friends, and then Anders added wood palette art in the shape of Minnesota and some other states. Oh my gosh, um, so these two are just like, they're just like super so cool yeah, artsy people yeah, who married just each other. So talented. Wonderful. Uh, but these palettes they used to make were like big, heavy, kind of a nightmare to ship. So they started to do smaller things. And they got a laser and everything changed for oh, them. Oh, it smells oh, good. I yeah. know because my face is so close to it. <laughs> Aren't those That's very what, cool? So I have to give him a lot of credit because if, if Abby were to take up a hobby like knitting where she's just, you mm -hmm. know, hanging out in a free time knitting, I don't think I would take my extra time and be like, oh, I'm going to go do a hobby. I would probably just, well, here's the sweet, thing. I'm just going to watch Netflix. can knit too. <laughs> no So way. they're just very creative together. I love this. Okay, so Emma told me, she emailed me and said, we still offer a few knit products in the fall and rarely nail anything anymore, but laser and glue just doesn't have the same ring to it, <laughs> so we kept our original name. Okay, that's cute. Knit and nailed. Very Okay, fun. so everything is available on their Etsy page. You've got that linked at TwinCitiesLive.com, so that's where you're going to want to go to shop and check out and see what they have available. They're always updating that. The prices are really, really good. They also sell in a lot of stores throughout Minnesota, so stores like Minnesota Makers and Robbinsdale and Accessory uh, and, and Excelsior, Rose and Loon in Rosedale Mall, North and Shore in Duluth. So if you're in those areas, you can actually see their products. That's I believe that's in Rose and Loon. Oh, great. At Rosedale Center. But I gotta yeah, look at these. They've closer. got really beautiful things up close. Look at the detail. The whole family gets together and does these, paints them, glues them, the ornaments. And they also have little gnome okay, ornaments. Okay, so they've got this DIY gnome, gnome ornament. So that's the finished product. You can see this little package. See, there's the before. Wait, so you, you can do buy oh, that. Okay. And then you so paint this... it and glue it together, and they've got all the directions you need. That's okay. also on their Etsy page. That's Isn't that fun. a fun little idea? Like, you could put that on the, the table for the holidays for the kids to do. I feel like you're keeping fun. me in a cage back. Here. Oh, you're not allowed. <laughs> I have to be able, you're not allowed I need to, get to turn the corner here. here. You know, depending on when people do stockings, I mean, some people do yeah. them on Christmas Eve or mm -hmm. before. This would be like a little, a great little stocking oh, stuffer. It's such a fun and then they can just idea. do it that night and oh, then put gosh. it on the tree. And then when you can just do it yourself. Day. I like this. Okay. I like the collection, the idea of like collecting a new Minnesota mm -hmm. ornament and doing a little Minnesota tree. Yeah. Yeah. And these all have, they, they do sell like, these are magnets. So you can get these for your fridge. You can put them on anything that where you can put a magnet to display. Um, but the true definition I find of a small business is juggling all the things at once, right? I, we've learned this about these Minnesota homemakers. So when I chatted with Anders and Emma last week on Zoom, Emma was literally at work. She's a pharmacist in the back room so we could chat. Take a look. How much fun is this for you guys? I mean, you kind of get to flex your brain in a little different way. I know that, Emma, you're at a pharmacy most days. And so you know, when you get to think creatively like that for the two of you, is that fun to do together? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, it's, I never would have guessed that I'd be doing this 10 years ago that I'd be creating and designing. And it's just, it's awesome that I can use my creativity and I actually make something that is cool. It's just fun to spend time together and we get to sit there and do designs and we used to just sit and have paint nights and the kids will come and paint or the kids will come and glue and uh, we can do it as a whole family affair or if we just have to get some stuff made, we can do it all individually and that's fine too. Um, but we just, all four of us really just work together and it's really fun. 
There you okay. go. They like to just hang out together. They're just hanging out Ooh. together. Look, they I know. seem Is like this the all American family. Is you feel family? a little inferior about your <laughs> I know. great marriage I feel and your a little family? Because you and Steve aren't sitting and painting we're together. Not, I we're know not that painting. Painting. Neither are we you and Abby. Aren't painting. No, we're not either. And we're not teaching our kids how to be crafty. Like, we're <laughs> work with their hands and like work together. It's they have a leg up on us in the craft <laughs> business. But, yeah. you know, sometimes people's brains work different than others. I don't know if I could do this at all. Thank you, Kelly. That okay. Was helpful. That, okay, great. So what's um, like the top thing? What do people so love the most? So the top thing, their most popular item is the lasered birch, which I believe. This one right here? That one right there. Yep. yep, the top one right there. So that is actually okay. going to be in this year's Star Tribune holiday gift guide that's published in November. It's a very popular item. They also have it in an ornament, in a Minnesota ornament. Um, but they just have really beautiful things. And Emma says, if you're thinking of becoming a maker, do it, make what you love, grow with your art, say no when you have to, and say yes when you have an amazing opportunity come up. Wow. I know. Yeah. That's a very good answer. That's a, but that is a tricky thing for a lot of young entrepreneurs because you feel like you've got to say yes to everything. I think that should be like a blanket statement in life. Say no when you have to and yeah. yes when there's an amazing opportunity. So yeah. good. Just a really great lesson for and us And just all. do something you love. This is really yeah. cool. Kelly? I don't appreciate that you put me in this cage back here, but I do appreciate the content that you can delivered you. to the show. Come here. here. Thank you. Oh, there here we go. go. You're going to find links to shop knit and nailed on Etsy on our website. This is a soft sweater on hey. TwinCitiesLive.com. <laughs> Let's get let these two. You two just go do what you need to do. We got